tracks I want to share history with. I've got a meeting of my own. Aching head. It was that dream again. And that voice. Ever since Big Mountain, that, that voice, those words, they've been haunting me for quite a while. Oh, hey everybody, TBG Hunter here. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Sorry about the abruptness intro, just been having a lot of thoughts over the past couple of days. Something about the past is calling me, and I think I need to answer that call. You know what? We're going to take a little trip. It's not really so much of me trying to get away from the war in a vacation sense, it's more of I need to confirm something about the past. So let's do this. time we took a trip to the one place that I've been having memories of and these past couple of adventures have started to bring them back to me it's time we take a trip to the divide something about that place is calling me there and I need to answer that call one way or another it's not going to be a long trip. All we got to do is go a little bit north of Prim. Well, a little bit north from the Sunset Drive-In, a little bit west from Prim. So, hopefully the trip won't take too long. And we've arrived. Well, kind of. We still got a little bit of a walk ahead of us. Oh, hey, a ghoul. I think he sees me. Yep, he does. Not anymore, though. But the divide. I haven't heard those words in ages. What was that? Oh, just coyotes. It feels like I've known that place before, but I just can't put my finger on it. But that name, that place, it, it just keeps coming back over and over. We've heard it from Dead Money. We've heard it from Honest Hearts, Old War Blues, that courier that keeps getting mentioned. The Old World Flag. I need I need to go confirm something. Because those messages, those thoughts, they've been haunting me for quite a while. Hello, Hello little puppy. Ooh, some money. An MRE, Rad X. Nothing in the suitcase. Alright. Let's go face our past. Courier 6. It's time to go home. The coordinates you receive lead you to the canyon filled with storm to this canyon filled with storm tossed wreckage beyond lies the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any if you find out with you. You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey proves too difficult or you need to resupply, you can just retrace your steps and return to the Mo Mojave anytime. If you're prepared, then continue into the storms of the Divide. History awaits. It's time to lock, walk this lonely road. Mm. 
past to the canyon wreckage. Well, this thing's literally like right on the other side of that canyon wreckage. Might need to look into that. The divide. The place of legends. The place that we've heard is literally hell on the wasteland. And as you can see, as to it's how it's gotten its name, it's because it's got those little red blinking towers. That's why it's called the Divide. Need to get out of this weather. A storm is coming. And I feel it's going to be a storm of destiny. You can go home, Kurt. That was kind of ominous. We have access to Kukri. Off the access door. What's this? Programmer's Digest. And the Silo Blast Doors controls. This control oh, console controls access to the silo itself, but it's encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break through the encryption in order to proceed. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll go to utility. What's this, an arc welder? Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, that's better. Oh, I can't wear it with my helmet. That sucks. Ah, oh, so I was wrong. Uh, electric attacks are actually in this game. It's an iBot. Unlock prototype pot pod. Let's see the status. Maintenance department log. Emergency power standby. Maintenance report level one. Non operational security measures inactive, inactive, inactive. Commissionary note. Notice. Attention all base personnel. The automated commissionary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof. Okay, shit. Shits we have been issuing to you are, are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your purchases the old-fashioned way. Attention all personnel, this is a reminder of basic mission terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time or other t or the technicians by running from commissionary to commissionary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the la first one. Open the pod goat doors. Eddie? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I feel like I'm just have myself on repeat. The asylum must have some pretty advanced engineering facilities to remote scan you and build copies. Slow down, slow down! What do you mean you're not the Eddie I know? Uh, well, I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? 
Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with, dish shape, with a dish-shaped receiver. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Wow, that is, like, really happy bouncing. Was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Well, I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Maybe you'll see him again someday. More super happy robots. All right, let's get a move on. Well, so much for being a lonesome road if, you know, I got my buddy back with me. And that's pretty much a dead end. Come on, Eddie, let's go on an adventure together. Just like old times. Oh, commissionary terminal. Terminal can only unlocked by an iBots. Oh god! Uh, thank you, Eddie, for activating the terminal for me. Universal repair interface. Why do I have to pay a terminal to fix stuff? Uh, commissionary. So we got some flashbangs that we can buy, 56 caps each. Uh, breathing mask, riot gear, US Army combat armor, riot helmets. You know what? I'll take the right gear. I'll save the combat armor for later. I don't really have anything I need to sell. Uh, do I have any... I'll sell this black blood sausage. Do I need, like... Blank books. There's a lot of empty syringes. Fish and battery. Put the night stalker egg. Your old books. That scrap electronics and the metal. Alright, well, let's test out this new gear I got. Who knows, maybe it has a working radio. Damn, do I look badass in this thing. This is basically the non-NCR version of the Ranger armor. I, I kind of like it a bit more than the Desert Ranger combat armor, just by a smidgen. Alright, Eddie. Do the thing. I'm gonna stand back. There we go. Alright, oh, Eddie, out of the way. Time to bring power back to the silo. Oh shit, the silo was armed.
All right, so we just need to go to the silo. I guess we'll have to go through the other way since that door opened. isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here. Fine, Ridley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the colonel about this. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Ralphie who? You're still not making sense, Eddie. <laughs> Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. Don't have to tell me. I would have beat the crap out of her. Uh... Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, uh, just forget about those words that I just said. Uh, do you get your mother with that mouth? You don't have to tell me, uh, uh, that's a terrible story, Eddie. We should get moving. Uh, very terrible story. Horrible story. Outrageous story. Nightmarish, even. Uh-oh. Is that a sentry bot? Yes, it is. Let me... Oh, good, I have some safety around. Security control level two. Or maybe... I can make it talk file. It's what matters anyway. Yet yeah, trade second level robot security. Perfect! I think in terms of the attribute, I think I just meant uh ragdoll. See, this thing was so off bound, probably because of this like minigun attached to its arm. And uh that rocket launcher on the other arm probably made it go off bound.
Unlock the main spring for me while I look around. Oh, another arc welder. There's a lot of these things around here. Hmm. I didn't even see that down there. Open the bunker door. I think I just hit the hornet's nest.
signal faint, but they're just like NCR, voice without fire, without strength, sick. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier. That voice. Wait. I've heard that voice before. You have a lot of hate for the NCR. That kind of hate isn't new to in the Mojave. No, not new. And not new among all those in the shadow of the bear. You know their flag. A bear with two heads. Symbols an old world one. Had one head then. Better off for it. Their flag speaks to their spirit. They're split like any two-headed animal. Trying to go in different directions. Ending up nowhere. In a Mojave, that'll only get you sand between your fingers. Or over your grave. Maybe you better tell me who you are. And what do you want? I'm a courier. Courier 6. Was Courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. You don't seem to know what I've been through. A lot of things have tried to kill me. Few have succeeded. Although I have power over time and space, so it really doesn't matter. We've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, or the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. So you're the one who sent the radio message, Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago, long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags, and he had to make them one. Ulysses, not the myth. You're honoring history, not stories. History? Yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general. Like Caesar and Oliver, he was brown and stubborn, gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory, turned two flags into one. That's when he lost. When the fighting was done, the sickness took hold. Lesson there, if history is to be believed, one you should heed. You brought me here to talk. If you wanted to kill me, you would have waited until I came with the, for the chip. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it. Just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Killing is personal. So is vows, promises, last bits. More important to me than the first. Wait, so you swore not to kill me? Why? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words.
chose Ulysses because of the two flags reference. Is that tied to the war in the Mojave? War. Call it that. Our part in it. Ulysses wasn't made for the flag he followed. He wasn't made for peace. That's the lesson. If you follow a symbol to the end, ask yourself what that means. More important, ask what happens after the end. Forget your name. Back to the... Uh, wait, hold on. Enough talking. You went through a lot of trouble to lure me here. So, let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you can help you find the warhead you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. If we share hi history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine. Fine, I'll find this trigger. Then I'll come find you. The Divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. So this is home. Alright, well, we got a job to do. Best not dilly-dally. Whatever I get the feeling, I'm going to be walking out of here with less limbs than I had walking in. I agree, Eddie. This probably is going to be exciting. We got moving. Someone was sneaking around up there. Oh god. Someone tossing grenades at me?
mind me coming through? Well, there's something close by. Come on. Come on, a little more. Oh, great. Hi there. Get him, Eddie. Good job, buddy. Why, you zapped the ever living hell out of him. Ow, 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 ow. Where the hell did that even come from? Not a bear. Where the hell did that come from? I don't see anyone. Well, that probably gave me an idea where it's coming from. Ah, there they are. off up there or something? No, he's got a rocket launcher. Let me just 
Just a second. He's got some pretty powerful weapons on them. Probably a good thing I took him out when I did. What do you have on you? Just flesh. I don't know if anything I pro... Actually, you know what? Let's see. Arc welder, bow knife. Marksman carbine. Where's red glare? I'm gonna move you right there. And we'll put... Oh, I got thumb thump with me. I forgot I had that. Uh, we'll... Where's that laser detonator? There you are. We'll put you up there where the pistol area is. Why don't we use thumb thump a little bit? We haven't used this weapon in ages. Hello. Alright, just point and shoot. Maybe I should have stepped back a little bit further. Well, if they didn't know I was here before, they definitely do now. Ambush. Called it. Excuse me. A little late for that, Eddie. guy in here. Hold on just a second. else of value. Just that combat armor. Auto-inject super stim packs. Ooh, there's mods. I forgot about the mods in the DLC. A lot of mods for Red Glare. The SMMG mechanical upgrade. SMMG recoil compensator. Red Glare extended magazine. Far side. Auto launcher. Alpha strike. A lot of things for this weapon. Really on you. some of my gold bars with me in the DLC. Ah, well. 
Well, it's been quite a while since we've done this. If I can pull up red glare, no. There you are. It's been quite a while since we've done this, but I think it's time for the return of TBG applying some brand new mods. Well, mod in singular. Can't tell that actually changed anything. I mean, definitely increased the zoom for it. Why don't we take a look at, at that uh, combat armor real quick? Let's see, it was U.S. Army combat armor. Eh! It's alright, I guess. It's just green combat armor. You can just basically get that from the reinforced combat armor. I prefer my riot suit. any missiles on the rockets because I don't have any missiles to convert. <laughs> Alright. Well, this seems like the only way to go. Hop, skip, and jump my way over this rubble. Seems it's that way, but there's more stuff this way. Hello. Oh god, he's got a super sledge. I want to step back, Eddie. That was just probably an easy way to take care of all those guys, but eh, whatever. Thump thump came through. I 
I don't like this. All these high perches just screams ambush. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Ulysses Log Y17-21, or point two one. Emptiness here, like the sands of the Great Salt Lake, echoed the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs. Ran with them on the salt beds at Kaiser's command. Cut the throats of the two-headed bear. Cut all communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, starvation, and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could, might, stand against him. But the white legs, they couldn't live on their own like most scavengers. So gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. Interesting thing to note, also I'm being murdered. So I must commence the re-murdering. But it seems like the Ulysses has been fighting for Caesar. It's kind of fitting, really. You know, he fights for Caesar, I'm fighting for the NCR. Not as cool as my riot helmet. Although I would probably give a mean headbutt. Speaking of stuff, my right here is about ready to break. Oh, you got an anti-material rifle. I'll take that gladly. Fine! Yoink! Go, there it is. I'll gladly take that off your hands. It's not like you're gonna get much use out of it anymore. That thing's got a power in it. Um. Whoops. I think there might have been a little too much Z4 in those cars. Yes, I gotta go down. And then go back up again. Oh, come on. Up we go. There we go. Last overpass tunnel. That's eh, definitely not a good sign. Oh, 
Oh, this just screams happy fun times, doesn't it? Now we can go back to that collapsed tunnel, unless there's actually one of those, hmm, um, vending machine area things. But I doubt it. Oh, wait, there's one. Oh, an auto dock. Not as nice as the auto dock back at home, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. Thank you, Eddie. Let's see, you sell brush gun, the flamer, the grenades, all the grenades, marksman carbine, the super sledge, the lance. And in return, why don't we grab a new upgrade for uh, red glare? Uh, what should we go with? Alpha strike, auto launcher, or extended mag? Uh. I guess the auto launcher since it's the cheapest one here. Ooh, this thing's about ready to break. I don't really have anything there to sell. Do I have all this pre war money though? Actually, I wonder. Did you have a helmet on you? No, you had armor. Did you have a helmet on you? No, you had armor as well. Damn it. Actually, I wonder how the armor would work. Would it fix my right armor? Yep, it would. And for the helmet? Nope, nothing. Out of the 
until I can find another piece of headwear. And, oh, with the heavy helmet. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? And this time with Let's Me Be an, an Idiot. shivers down your spine. Good thing I got the heavy artillery. Also, I should probably apply a new mod to it. So, uh, in these trying times, it's time for me to apply a brand new mod. Alright. Oh, it's got a faster fire rate. I think I added a thing to the back. Flashbangs in the distant future really look like they just slap paint right onto it. Oh, poor guys. Can I repair my helmet with this thing? No, I can't. Of course not. I probably need, like, heavy helmets to, like, Down, boy. Oh, hey, my eyes are glowing. My vision actually works on this thing. It's nice that they finally got those things to work. Watch my back, Eddie. Who knows where these things could come out of. Getting hit. 
wash my back. Oh, that works. Didn't know flashbangs could do that. Come on. Um. Oh, what is up behind me? Take some medics. Hey, you know what? We'll take some turbo as well. And where is that medics? Ah, there's the exit. I doubt these scenes will explode if I shoot them. Yeah, figures. Ah, the exit. It's over, tunnelers! I have the high ground now! those creatures in the underpass? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. This more death for the Mojave than bombs. 
trees and fire, but they'll come before its people from where they least expect below. Radiation from the war must have created them. The detonations, quakes caused them to surface? Makes sense. Truth favors that. Matches the history of this place. We're signs they were here for a long time. Before marked men. Before what happened to the divide it cracked their sky. If so, they were buried deep. Might have been born the day America's embers started to settle. Seen worse things twisted by radiation. That's for sure. When you say slower death for the Mojave, you mean they're spreading out from the divide? Death will come from below. In the divide, need to watch the sky and the ground. Mojave will be easy prey for them. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years, probably less. They breed fast, hunting groups, more than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave, once they draw blood. Seeing them tear apart Death Claws, Death Claw might get some, but the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver Hounds. Denver Hounds? Denver's far from the east, that's Legion territory. Mojave and the Divide are the only places I've walked. Walked the east, too, before the bull came. Then, much like Mojave before the bear, tribes, towns, clutching to life, bull did a better job. Those soldiers in Hopeville were once NCR, I'm sure of it. Why were they with the Legion? You see, true. Not scavengers. It's what they wore before this all happened. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield now turned against the divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar. Fear of the Legion. NCR would have needed this supply line open to reinforce the Mojave and Hoover Dam. The dam. That old world wall. The bear. NCR. Couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15. Cayman. Both bad enough. Kimball. Kaiser. House. You'd think that our whole world was that wall. Cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, Bleed it. Starve it. That kind of murder. It's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the Divide belongs to history. Those markmen in Hopeville had some strange marks and blades I'd never seen before. They bear false versions of Legate Denise's mask. The one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, not with care and strength, but with hate. Keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Other marked men had NCR gear, and they weren't carrying masks or blades. For the two headed bear, NCR, they don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their mines and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. Found some recordings from you in Hopeville, by the way. The tapes. Didn't think those would be found. 
You know the divide better than I thought. Had tech from the big empty. The quarter a woman gave me. Didn't survive the road on its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them, nothing but ramblings. Reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. You wouldn't have recorded those messages if they didn't matter to, matter to you. Maybe not. Who's to say? You, perhaps, found them. Heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter. If history matters. We'll see at the end of the road. If this is the high road, where does it lead? At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. You have a lot of hate for the robots with me. I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool made of wreckage of the divide. All oh, that was brought here. When we first spoke in Fo Hopeville, you mentioned you'd sworn not to kill me. Why? You know the why of it. If you don't, I do. And that's enough. Joe's trust only walks so far west. Earned more than that, though, getting this far. We walk the same road, carry the same colors. Can't break that by making the road red. Want more than that? Walk the divide. Answers will come closer you get to home. You and that machine. Road leads nowhere. There's nothing in the divide. Many in the Mojave think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life, a town farther west. I'm not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name. The divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. What makes, what makes you think this leads home? All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe, but home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message. Whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind, a moment where you know who you are, the history of it, and they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you, the road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just the job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. I've walked a lot of hard roads, Mojave, and before. Doesn't mean anything. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. 
It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new nation, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But that old world, something you made, road or the supply line. You're still making assumptions about all this. Wait, there's no other supply line to the Mojave beyond the Long 15. <laughs> Not anymore. If one existed, the two-headed bear would claim it. And it tried to. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim, whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden, walk west into the sun, and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. God, with the lightning and all this stuff, and Ulysses' uh, very distinct voice, it was like I was talking to the Lord or something. Ugh. It's a long road ahead. Oh god! I just can't seem to catch a break out here, can I? Beast! The beast from the east! I can actually hit him. Actually. Do I still have that anti-material rifle on me? Yeah, I do. Right here. Shot. Boop. I did nothing. Come on. One good shot is all I need. That was not a good shot. That is, though. Garen, a very peculiar weapon, though. Ugh, why did I take the mutilated organ? Shouldered mounted machine gun? That sounds absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, because this definitely won't, you know, rip my shoulder off at the very half second I pull the trigger. Hmm. That looks like a nice place to make a camp for now. Wait a second. Is someone standing up there? Yeah, right there. That's just a mark, man. Eddie. Alright, so it's just a mark, man, up there. I feel like I'm being watched. But not by what you think it is. Wait. There is someone up there. I am being watched. Got him. Come on. One more should do it. There we go. I'll take that. Now, for a second, I thought there was like a protectron over there or something. 
Alright. Let's, let's head up this place. It's been a long day, and I think this is probably a good spot to make a camp for now. If I can get the ammo crates. More flashbangs. And more rockets. Uh, mm. Up we go. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Flare gun. Frightens abominations. I'm guessing this is what these guys use to signal each other, like, back in Hopeville. Balance myself a little bit. Yep. Uh oh. Ow. The crow's nest. This place would actually make a pretty cool little base. Oh, hello. Ooh. NCR right control. Advanced right gear. Ooh. Oh, poor guy. I can't tell if he's a ghoul because he's one of the ghoul troopers that the NCR employs, or the radiation did that to him. Well, let's t try out this new riot armor. Well, I'm a little worse for wear, but shoulder pads do look nice. Actually, what am I doing? I can just go to stats. Up this bag, and I'll use a couple stim packs. Satchel charges. And another Ulysses log. Miss some things. Big empty. There's something hidden there. A crater. Past wind and sand. So deep in the desert, there's no turning back. Finding the crater was an accident. Was following the weather patterns. The divide sky torn like that. Man's violence. Not nature's. That violence in the sky had a source. Tracked it, like following a river current. Left the colors to mark my way, like always. In case someone finds them, learns the pattern. The courier might. But I thought sand and wind would never end. Came to the crater. And there, there was an old world facility. A weather station at the edge, still raking the sky with electricity and generators. And beyond it, saw the rest of the old world hell there, all carved up like a garden plot. Had to see what was there. Couldn't leave it be. Things sleep in the big empty. The Brotherhood woke them up. Can't move quiet any more than the two-headed bear can. And when they woke up, it was like all of history waking up at once. Almost didn't make it out. Almost. Left with answers I never intended. Oh, God, the medics! So that seems to be when Ulysses arrived at Big Mountain, as, well, the Big Mountain scientists told us. They told him things that he probably shouldn't have learned. And he walked out that place with answers he didn't know he wanted. We've still got a pretty long road ahead of us. We've got... Uh, if I can pull up the map. Quite a bit of ways to go. It's gonna be a long journey. But thankfully I got a trusty tra traveling companion with me. So much for this being a lonesome road. 
Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night here, make a little camp, and continue my journey tomorrow. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we'll continue our way down the Lonesome Road and see if we can finally get some answers as to why Ulysses called us here. I'll see you guys next time, and I will see you guys later.